Hi, I'm Morgan Doremus with RT Book Reviews, and I'm here today with Mark and Alice, and they write as Cleo Coyle. Um, some great mysteries with amateur sleuth uh, Claire. And we're here today to talk a little bit about it. And we're standing in front of a New York backdrop because you both write here in the city about the city. That's right. Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like to, to live in a place and to be able to intertwine that a little bit in the work that you're writing? Oh, New York really feeds our fiction. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I've lived here for 30 years. Gives and I've been here over 20. <laughs> And uh, we've lived in almost all the boroughs. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. yeah exactly. So for someone who doesn't, um, or is not familiar with New York, it's five boroughs, and they're very different boroughs with different uh, populations and cuisines and uh, ethnicities. And so... Um, attitudes. Attitudes. Baseball teams. Yeah, and we've, <laughs> we've worked in, in corporate New York, and we've worked at service level New York, and we have all kinds of friends all over the place, and, you know, firefighters and policemen and... We, we have heard all kinds of stories, and we'll keep our ears out. So if we're in a taxi, for instance, um, we might engage the taxi driver. We try not to tell people we're writers. Yeah, I know. Right. And um, listen to stories, and they, a they lot are, of sometimes some versions of them end up in yeah. our book, and we try to make it, keep it real, as they say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as collaborators and husband and wife, you have to tell me, how does that work exactly? Because I know a lot of people would look at that and say, not for me, never. Um, but but you really make it work. You've written almost a dozen books together now, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Well, um, yeah. I mean, there are moments. I mean, there are moments for our discussions. You know, of becoming Claire and Matt arguments in the novel. But it's a reality well, that helps, and truth. That, that helps our writing couples realistically. Yeah, yeah we do write couples realistically, <laughs> yes. and we kind of appreciate Thin Man and that kind of romantic comedy kind of twist on the detective novel. Although I'm not saying we won't do all comedy. But we understand that, you know, human emotions can be humorous and, and, right. and couples and their and emotions. We've, uh, what helps us uh, in terms of our collaboration is that we both were writers before we started collaborating. Um, and we had both completed novels. Novels, and, um, whole things. We've been on bestseller lists with media tie-in. So when we, appro we, we, we work together as professionals, so if uh, Mark reads something he doesn't like or I read something I don't like and we criticize each other, we don't take it as, you know, I don't run into the room and slam the door and pout. <laughs> he doesn't walk yeah, out. Yeah, two, two hours of pouting is two hours of writing wasted. Why, yeah, exactly. The idea is it's like you pretend it's like a theater or, or like a movie. And the actor goes, I can't deliver this line. The character just wouldn't say it this way. And you, you don't pout. You turn the scene around. Right. You make it work. 